Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. This one, we're talking about the NBA for Monday, December 11th, and we have a ton of games on the slate, finally. You know, we've been having those in-season tournament game slates with one or two games on them, so good to have a bunch of games back and a lot to pick up, so definitely have a lot of EV positive plays that we can get to on this one. We got five picks in the video, so stay tuned for all five to consider and let's get into it. But if you're not in the Discord, definitely get over here. A ton of people are winning big days in the NFL for people in the VIP. We're opening up the free section this week. A ton of big hits over here. People talking NBA, NFL, all sports over here and winning. So definitely get over here and get in the free chats. But also we have five plus cappers in there giving out picks in the private sections of the Discord, which is less than a dollar per day. Definitely get in there. We've been absolutely cashing out. Had a big weekend for the cappers in there and the people in the private Discord. So definitely consider getting in the private Discord as well. So if you like these kind of picks in the video, definitely check out the NFL video that's out on the channel. It'll be the end card. But also that's how all these cappers in here are coming up with their favorite picks on prize picks for you guys. So definitely get in here. And that's how Nora Dean here, who is in the private Discord, has been hitting a lot of these big slips. Okay, so for our first pick, the first one we're going to go to is just, it's got to be Joel Embiid. We're going to go to his PRA in this one against Washington. If you guys have been watching the videos, you know that we smashed Embiid both times he's played Washington, has had insane games uh, against them both times. I think 48 in the first game and then 50 just points. So liking the PRA. On this one, the points props is a little high at 34 and a half. You know, I still think he can get low 30s in points and hit this because the rebounds uh, against Gafford, just such a good matchup. And he's been handing out a lot of assists as well. So I'd rather go to the PRA in this one now that the points are up. But Embiid just plays huge minutes against the Wizards. We can take a look at this one over on Outlier, which does have a free seven-day trial if you want to check it out with the link down below. It's a great tool I use every single day for prize picks and player props. So we could see if we come over to the PRA, just seven of 18 games he's hit this so far. Hit it in the last two games though. And against Washington this year, 65 and 70 on the PRA just has absolutely smashed it. We could see Washington's defense last in points allowed, last in rebounds allowed, last in assists allowed. So they're going to give up a bunch. And in this game, you know, they did win by 18, and Embiid still got 48, 11, and 6. So even if they're up a decent amount, Embiid shouldn't be out of this game completely. Washington has been having some closer games as well. So I think they'll keep it fairly close in this one. Embiid just in line for another massive game. This is going to be such a popular pick that I think we could even see some of these props go up because people, as they start to get in their NBA bets for Monday, are going to be loving Embiid. So we might even get a good deal here. And we do post these picks. If you guys notice some of these lines shifting, we do post them in the private Discord as well before the videos come out. So you guys can get in on some of these lines if you are considering them. Well, then we're going to come stick to this next game. Like I said, I think it's going to be a fairly close game within 20 points for most of the game. So thinking Tyus Jones is going to play a good amount again, like he did last time against the Sixers. So, you know, kind of a weird stack here, Embiid and Tyus Jones in the same game, a little game stack. But I think Jones is going to play a good amount. Should be able to hit these rebounding total. Uh, this one is a pretty high EV play if we come... Find this one. You can see the rebounds, minus 136 on FanDuel. The other sites have it at minus 135 to go over. So they like it. Last 10 games, he's hit this in 6 of 10. Rebounds allowed just 5th in the league, Philadelphia. is. So they rank really high in not letting their opponents get rebounds. But against point guards, they're actually 16th. So we definitely like to see that stat in there. And then on the season, Tyus Jones has hit this in 12 of 21 games. We can also look at head-to-head. -head. Last game got three. Game before that, just one. But the minutes, 32.6, 31.4, which is well above his average. And we could come back to 2023. He's hit this in 57% of games. But what you could do on Outlier, which is why I like this tool so much, 
is you could filter it where games where he's only played a certain amount of minutes. So let's just give him 28 minutes. He's hit this in six of eight games when he plays 28 minutes. And weirdly, actually, one of those games was against Philadelphia where he didn't hit it. But liking Tyus Jones, high EV play. And I think he should be in line for a good amount of minutes in this one where he hits this prop a lot when he plays decent minutes. The next pick I'm going to go with is going to be DeMar DeRozan under on his assist. And DeRozan just has an insanely high assist prop. I didn't think this was right when I first saw it. Six and a half. It's one of the top picks over here on Odds Jam. Basically how Odds Jam works is they take all these player prop sites, prize picks, underdog, parlay play, thrive, wherever you're playing, and you can get the top EV picks. They filter them out with the best chance to hit. So one of their top picks, DeRozan, under 6.5 assists. You can see my favorite sportsbook here, Pinnacle, has this at minus 145. I think they have the sharpest odds, minus 149 on another site. So they're really liking this one under. I think they're just getting a little too confident here based on some of his last games. I mean, we can see under 6.5 on Outlier. The last 10 games, he's gone under this in 8 of them, but does have 2 games with 8 assists. And that is kind of a crazy stat, but I think he's just going to have a tougher time. And this one against Milwaukee, pretty tough opponent. And they could get fully blown out in this game without Zach Levine. So not really seeing it for DeRozan. You know, he did this in San Antonio, which was a close game. And then against uh, New Orleans, which is another close game. But you can see, like, versus Boston, uh, they got blown out. He only played 25 minutes, so... We could see a situation where he plays less than 30 minutes. So thinking DeRozan, not going to be my favorite pick here. I, I thought this stat was wrong, honestly, when I when I saw it, this prop. But 6.5, really high. Going to take the under on that one for the odds jam pick of the day. And then for our next pick, we're going to go to two guys here. And we're actually going to take the under on both of them. And they're both actually identical stat, which is kind of interesting. Miles Turner going to under. On him, 18 and a half points. And, you know, Indiana has so many scores that Miles Turner hasn't got that many opportunities. And I think this is kind of a tougher matchup. Detroit has a ton of big men to throw at him, so he can't really just be bodying people. And kind of has been struggling recently and so far this season to score big amounts because they just have so many scores. And Halliburton uh, takes a lot of shots along with. Matherin and Heald and, and all those other guys. So we can see uh, Miles Turner here under 18 and a half. Eight of his last 10 games, he's gone under this on the season. 62% of his games, he's gone under this. Detroit, they do allow a good amount of points, but they play play a pretty slow pace. Minus one, or sorry, 118. They don't have a great defense, 23rd ranked in the NBA. But against centers, they rank fourth. So the fourth best team at, you know, defending centers essentially so that's definitely an interesting stat here for miles turner and that's a main reason why i'm going to go under on this and just i guess i mean the last 10 games eight of 10 under it's kind of a brutal stat here and i think a fairly tough matchup for centers as well so going under on turner and then i didn't realize my last three picks are all unders here but going to sabonis on the under, again, same thing, 18 and a half points, going to take the under against Brooklyn. Looking at this one on Outlier to to look at some stats, we could see Sabonis under 18 and a half. Brooklyn's defense is 17th ranked in the league, so right around middle of the pack. But against centers, they rank 6th, so it's kind of the same play and same thought process that went into the Miles Turner pick with this one. And then also, if we look at Sabonis, Six of his last 10 games, he's gone under this. And what is this? Five of his last six games, he's gone under this as well. So it just hasn't been scoring super effectively as of late since, you know, pretty long stretch here dating back to November 24th. Has only gone over this total one time. And I think this is a tough matchup. Brooklyn does defend centers pretty well and not really liking Sabonis in this. I just think both those props are too high for these guys. So we're going to be taking the under on this one for the fifth pick in the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, definitely check out the NFL video as well. That's up on the channel for Monday Night Football. There's two Monday Night Football games. Also, get in the Discord here. Nordine is in the private Discord. 
section, which is less than a dollar per day, but getting a ton of winning picks in there from five plus cappers. But the free section are open. People talking about NBA in here all day, getting you guys ready for the NBA slate. So definitely get over here or join up in the private section to get access to a ton of picks and our projections that we run every morning. But right here at the Zen card, check out the Monday night football games, two games on the slate. So excited for this NBA NFL slate. And these picks will be posted in the private discord so you can get in on the lines as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video.